Welcome, everybody, to the final round coverage of the FPO Lead Card Butler County Disc Golf Classic. This is brought to you guys by Innova in Cranberry Township, right outside Pittsburgh, riding shotgun with me today on this disc golf adventure. Miss Maria Oliva, she's also playing on the card. How are we doing today? Doing good. I'm excited to watch some amazing golf today. Yeah, so we got Kristen, negative 11, six-stroke lead on Jess, who's got a three, two-stroke lead on Lisa, who's got a four-stroke lead on you. So a little bit of separation, but that's what these holes are. Yeah, the first few holes uh, for sure give a lot of separation due to how open they are. It gives us, you know, the chance to really unleash on some, especially for the distance throwers. It gives us a little leverage uh, to go into those wooded holes. For sure. Starting off with a par five. Second shot, you want to get past the entrance to this wooded section. If you make your way into the trees at all, it becomes a pretty easy third shot for these ladies. Starting off first in first place at 11 under par, sponsored by Latitude 64 from Pernu, Estonia, your 2022 world champion, Kristen Tatar. Yeah, and the forecast was showing rain all day today, and luckily we really only had a downpour for, I would say, only like five holes. Okay. A little misty in some, but we had a great day. That's a good start from Kristen. There's going to be some barking that you're going to hear. At five under par, sponsored by Innova from Grass Valley, California, Jessica Weiss. As Jess gets brought up, yeah, there was like a dog park uh, day at the pool. Yeah, there was hundreds of dogs just splashing around, making noise, just living their best life. It was pretty cute to see. Good looking shot from Jessica. One of the best two-way players we have in the game. She's got a really proficient forehand that she'll bust out in these woods as well. From Canyon Lake, Texas, Lisa Fakus. Yeah, and there's no wonder Lisa, Jessica, and Kristen are on lead card. They all three have incredible forehands and know how to shape their discs to make some crazy lines. And that's really all you need out here. Good one from Lisa. She'll probably be the person that throws the least far in this group throughout the day, but very accurate with it and extremely good at putting. Correct. Maria Oliva. All right, all right. I know that person. Yeah, me too. What are you going with here? A uh, Halo Destroyer. Little rain coming down, covering the towel. That's a pro move. Yeah, I, I always do that. I can't risk a single drop hitting my thumb. It's right. just not not for me. All right, Jessica up first. This is an incredible shot. That angle control she put just was perfect. Wow. She yeah. had a little weird next shot but man that's that's about as good as it gets yeah getting from into a, that mouth a slippery uphill run up yeah lisa kind of just released low enough to just catch that edge of the hill and didn't kick really any distance on that second shot which is going to be costly but i'm sure she'll recover on the green yeah it only needed to be two feet higher yeah it would have crested the hill and continued flying i was unfortunate Biggest drive in the group. What are you going with here? Another destroyer gifted by the homie. Oh, that's right. Used to be in my <laughs> bag. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good flyer right there and a nice shot from you. Thank Set you. up well. This is a great shot from Lisa. She'll be about where you guys ended up, just to play for par now. Yeah, a great recovery shot. And honestly, par is not bad on this hole. There's so many things that can go wrong on this third shot that if you're walking away with a five, I think you're sitting pretty. 
not too upset about it. A little shy from Kristen. She'll be right at Circle's Edge. Yeah, I think all of us were a little shy on these third upshots, as you can see. We all kind of just missed our lines. I was fortunate enough to get really lucky. There you go. But, yeah, I think nerves a little bit on the first mm -hmm. hole you were part of that. You guys had a pretty good gallery following along, which is yeah, it was awesome really nice. to see him hiking the hills, too. Yes. Yeah, and like I said, the weather wasn't, you know, the greatest, so having the gallery out there was definitely really nice. Totally. Mm, sit. Okay. Yeah, an uncommon miss from Kristen from inside the circle, but I'm sure we won't see him anymore. Yeah, we got some ladies in jackets, and then we see you there with just like a t-shirt on. <laughs> Obviously not just a t-shirt, it's performance gear. Well, but I think everyone was expecting a downpour, mm -hmm. and it was kind of just lightly misting for the first three holes. Okay. And honestly, those hills were so much that I was sweating. Already warmed up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was. And I think everyone was. Everyone shed their rain jackets on hole two. Yep. They were kind of like, oh, okay. We don't need these. Just the body heat evaporating the yeah. water off the skin. Yeah. Good par from Lisa. And the lone birdie for you. Yeah, I was shocked that my third shot got through. Um, hole two, par four, 445 feet. If you get your drive through any of the two gaps, um, you should have an easy hyzer to the basket. A lot of people um, tend to go for the forehand on the second shot, but it is a tricky shot because that's where the slope is heading to. Mm. Nice pump there. Did you get to that flat spot? Um, not quite. Okay. I did yesterday, which was really nice, but it does make not the approach easier. One. Yeah. Kristen opting for that same line as you. This shot was what you want. She got her uh, this to flip up a little more, and yeah. now she's on the very edge of that hill, which does make that second shot easier because it's not as low ceiling. Jess likes the Anheuser route. That was a really good shot. If you go for that route off the tee, you can't bite off that much distance. Um, but if that's the angle that you're comfortable with, it's definitely what you want to go for. Okay. Yeah, she got a really nice kick. Um, Obviously not what she wanted, but at least she was through the trees and yeah. had an open look at the basket. Yeah, theoretically, she should be able to get to the bucket from here. This is an extremely downhill shot. If she can navigate that side hill. Yeah, weird footing, but this shot looks so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and the roll. That should be just outside circle. Is that right? Yeah. Perfect. Nice recovery from Lisa. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and that's the tricky part about this upshot is that low ceiling. You want to get it just right or those branches will knock you down and you're going to be sitting just outside the circle every time. Playing it left of the basket is a good move as well. Contact the ground, it kind of skips you towards the bucket as well, slows yeah, it down. Yeah, exactly. Nice play from you. Thank you. It's a little wide from Kristen. She's really good at that. It's the only reason I call it wide. It was a good shot. Yes, but she's yeah, she's usually dialed in on those. Yeah, extremely accurate with her standstill harp approaches. It's a dangerous putt here. That's a good, good move by Jessica, I think. It's definitely not worth the run. No, anywhere close to circle two on this green is... It's just scary. It is. This is a, probably your best look at, at running it if you're not yeah. a further right. For sure. Lisa almost got mm. it, just a little low. All right, Kristen from above the basket, putting downhill. Dead center. This was such a good putt. She's staring 
pretty much down the cliff. So nerves of steel right there. Yeah. Just slightly missed the uphill putt on hole one. Makes the adjustment here. Yeah. That's a good putt from Lisa. Yeah, I'm like Madison and I were talking about yesterday. Really, any putt on this green is a death putt. Mm. So anywhere you are, you're you're not quite safe. Okay. I haven't seen you do that too many times. It looked like you were pretty concentrated down and then looked up and shot quick. That's my new routine. Okay. Yeah. I think Matt Bell does something similar to that. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure whether it was sustainable, and I was having issues with a new routine at Worlds, and I decided, you know what, it worked once. I think I was trying to do it again, and okay. so far, so good. You just allow your body to focus on a point yeah. and, and not be distracted. Or... Yeah, well, I look up, I only see the basket, and there's no thoughts. It's just interesting. in. <laughs> All right. Look forward to watching that. Got this incredibly uphill third hole and you can tell some rain is starting to come down on you guys yeah it was right about this hole where the rain really started to get a little heavy which you know wish it would have been not this hole this is one of the hardest par fours i think out here just because of the elevation and how guarded the basket is yep. um and honestly i think all of us uh had our drives a little out of position, which, you know, makes sense with the rain and... Pretty similar drives from the group. I think Kristen is probably the best. It's hugging that left side is definitely advantageous. Yeah. Did you find that if you hung it out right, you almost outdrove the gap? Yeah, there's you really don't want to throw far on the drive on this. Interesting. Um, it's almost a sawed off hyzer. Right. Okay. Because any distance and any movement right, you're Trying you have to get a back really in. weird shot. Yeah, back up to the basket. Oh my god. Or you goodness. have to Yeah, that was a beautiful shot. But yeah, really all you have if you go to right, is a poke and hope hyzer back to the basket. Got you. That was a knife hyzer flip up forehand from Jess Weiss. That was incredible. Yeah, like right here, I went too far and too right, and all I had was kind of backdoor yeah. hyzer to about 36 with a sketchy green. <laughs> yeah. This might never stop rolling on the screen if it starts. Yeah, it's it's, it's treacherous. Five hundred feet of ski slope to go down. Fully straddled out over there. Yeah, I thought about running this one and just said, "Relax." Yeah, you got the first I'm not two. Doing this, yeah. yeah. Are you thinking about catching Lisa? What's what's in your mind? No, all I was thinking about today was, you know, hit your lines. Okay. Slow down. Yeah. I, I'm never out there trying to catch anyone or win. I'm just trying to play my best. And the way I do that is by focusing. Yeah. So that's shot by shot. Mm -hmm. Kristen missing another uphill putt. I wonder if just worlds and then a couple rounds here plus practice rounds is just kind of, I don't know. Maybe catching up a little bit. Yeah. She's not necessarily being fully pushed either. Easy, right, easy to get a little, a little complacent. Yeah, um, still, Kristen at the top. Jessica and Lisa keep switching back and forth. I think they battle. They've been battling all weekend, and I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. Yeah, Rebecca Cox, couple under on her round early in, playing good golf these days. Hole four. This one is just about hitting the gap and putting the brakes on. Yeah. Yeah, this hole's really short, feels like a must get. It's really tricky, but yeah, there's there's one gap and if you hit it, you should be able to have a putt if you throw a slow enough disc. There's not many 205 foot holes that are trickier than this one. Yeah. Oh my. Come on. Yeah, I really wish that tree hadn't 
been there. But. <laughs> Out of the hundreds of reactions that you yeah. could have gotten off that tree. Yeah, I was really stoked, though. I hit the gap, and yeah. that's all I wanted. And this was a beautiful shot by Kristen. Barely caught that last tree. Choosing a forehand gap there. Yeah, she's done that all weekend. It's, it's even been skinnier so than nice. the backhand, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. But she stands there. She's mm -hmm. looking at her target, making it easier for her. Yeah, and Lisa with a really nice backhand, barely catching that last tree. Mm. I'm surprised she doesn't go with a forehand route just because of how heavily she relies on that sometimes. But She's got them both for sure. Yeah. Floaty little Anheuser layup from Jessica done nicely. Should see a layup, yep, from Kristen. Wonder if Lisa's gonna run this. She's kind of at that spot right there. Yeah, she's definitely a little closer. I think she's in the run. That's a run. Ooh, Ooh and she almost got it too. Stayed close. Yeah, a little, little half bit, I think. All right, this is just outside circle, little uphill. Cash. Yeah, a little left, but the I basket count it. said okay. When you putt firm, like you do, <laughs> taking a little bit off, you still reach your target most of the time. Just snuck right in, barely. Counts the same. Three <laughs> under through four holes. It's a great start. Don't expect Kristen to miss those, but still a nice putt nonetheless. Getting a lot of birdies on this front nine, I think, is super crucial. I think the back nine are, there's just a lot of par fives and fours that are just so wooded that I think it's just really nice to have a cushion going into those because you never know what shot is just going to hit one tree and yeah. ruin it for you. Every single birdie you acquire feels good out here. Yeah. Hole five, par four. This one, you want to get right into where these three trees are sitting. Um, that's the perfect landing zone, really, for then a forehand upshot or small little Anheuser putter mid shot to the green. Um, you want that upshot to land really soft because mm. of this sloped green. Preferably in the mulch. Yes. Makes the putties. Mm -hmm. You were playing a little flex shot there. Yeah, and I hung it out way too wide, and that was my miss on this hole mm. pretty much every single time. So, really? yeah. You had that, <clears throat> excuse me, OB left to worry about. Yeah. And it definitely, it becomes more uphill the more left you go. Definitely. And this shot by Jessica was great. She let that oh. flip up. Unfortunately caught that tree, but still a really good, good distance down the fairway. Oh, yeah. Just in front of that big guy. That's perfect position. Lisa throwing a halo turn, looks like. Yeah, she was throwing that thing all day. She mm -hmm. loves it. And it flies really well for her, too. She'll be looking at a different portion of the fairway up to the green than you guys. What is the, is this a cut roller, forehand cut roller? Yeah, you know, like I said, my miss was hitting that tree, and I actually practiced this <laughs> during the, the practice rounds, no and I way. knew it was going to work, so it's That's pretty... That's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, got yourself back in the fairway. Should be an easy up and down from there. Oh, oh Lisa was opting for the roller, too, Same. but... She saw it work out for you. Yeah. Terrible and That's really kick. the shot on this upshot depending on where you land just because on so many spots on this 
fairway, you just don't have much of a shot back up to that hill. Mm, but a nice recovery. Yeah. Leaves a long, dangerous bid. She's been putting aggressive. We'll see what she does from there. Kristen was in this same spot yesterday, I believe, and had this same little weird forehand. It's definitely a really tough angle, and I think she hit the same tree. Mm. I know she wasn't stoked about that. It's a very technical shot to be straddling out with your right foot behind that disc as a yes. righty, not being able to move or adjust it. Oh, Go that's ahead. a gap. Yeah, she was hitting some Sit. tiny No gaps. way. Yeah, unfortunate roll. Not crazy, but definitely but, yeah, not what you want. Goes from, you know, 60%, 70% birdie range to like 20%, 30% just with that roll. Yeah. I think Lisa is for sure giving this a run. Ooh. Ooh. Just a tad bit low. That's nice, though. Okay. Yes. Ooh. I wasn't sure what you were going to do for a second. <laughs> yeah, Great just look, left side though. chains again. Yeah, I mean, if you commit to the putt. You're going to grab a little metal. Yeah. Chances are you hang safe. Yeah, thank goodness I did. <laughs> Left with just a little forehand bit. It looked like her disc was about 20 feet away at one point. Yeah, the birdie on this hole is real tough. You need two perfect shots mm. and a really good putt. It's very hard to have inside... 300 feet into the green. Yeah. With that hill meeting your disc, you're just, you're left with that uphiller. Yeah, on paper, you wouldn't think so because the hole's only 500 feet, but yeah, it's it's really elevated and just tough to get to. No time to get frustrated, though. He's way out of position. Like He's going to have to force it, though. I don't think he can. Think it's I even just, possible? It's in the impossible range. The way Worlds ended last year, you couldn't have wrote that in a book. After the initial reaction, I had to like process. If you don't even think it's a sport, watching this moment has to get you pumped up. He's going to need the shot of the century. It just, I could sense something was about to happen. Super sick documentary if you haven't seen it. Headed into hole six. This is a beast. A bear right here. Third hardest hole on the course, and it's a par five. What are you thinking game plan wise as you head into this hole, Maria? This hole, the game plan is make sure you hit the gap on your drive. Otherwise, you're just adding on just unwanted and unneeded strokes. Um the par is definitely gettable if you just, you know, chip your way up there, but trying to get too advantageous and bite off more than you can chew on this hole is really what's going to get you. Jessica threw a monster drive down there yesterday. Yeah, that shot was mind-blowing. That one not quite as good, but still great. Over the ravine, onto the flat ground. Yeah, and even when you think your drive is going to be perfect on this hole, it still leaves you with a really weird second shot. So like I said, really all you're looking for is to get through the gap. Yeah. You can't game plan that second shot. No. It's going to be a different gap every day. Yeah, or you can just shank through the trees and still somehow get up there like hey. someone just did. That's called woods golf. <laughs> And I'm going to take that back. This is the hardest hole on the course. It was third hardest yesterday, but this one playing number one today. That point makes sense. Nine strokes over par. Ooh. Yeah, she's she's tough. She a long one, and she's got a forest for the last 340 yeah. feet. I'm throwing my road runner here. That's basically all you'll see me throw out here today. That's it. What the? Oh. 
No way. It like full flighted. It stood up. <laughs> Unfortunate roll, but pure shot around the corner. That was great. This shot's looking nice. Looking like a lot of distance from Lisa. Yeah, full flight. Just a standstill. Interesting. Knows that she can hit the gap. Playing it high on the hill, too. Yeah. Which leaves a few more alleys, if you want to call them alleys. Yeah, that shot was perfect. I know Kristen's trying to play the right side of this hole, which is the more, the more open part of it. Um, so, yeah, her game plan is to get that birdie, and I think she's on the right track for it. Jessica kicked left. Not a terrible spot to, to kick to, though. Leaves her with this. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a really good shot. She got down there. She's close to the basket. Yeah. Now it's just an easy little layup. Made it out the other side. That's all you're asking. Yeah. Lisa's got this tricky side hill lie. Oh. Does that count? I didn't, like, throw it forward. I just slipped and came out. Huh? Yeah. That was a very... That. Whose voice is that we're hearing that said, the, yeah, that's a throw? Uh, Jessica, okay. we were all kind of... I, we all saw it, but we didn't quite, like, okay, so realize what Understand happened. what happened, yeah. Because yeah. all we saw was this, like you know, throw, huh? behind Lisa. Okay. But, yeah, it, it counted as a shot, so she's just going to throw from her I new life. Yeah, I saw him slip off, and it fell out of my hand, so. Okay. Mm. That is the correct ruling. It's just a hard one. Yeah, it's a tough call for sure. Just because it happened so fast, yeah. you couldn't quite tell whether, for you know, sure, what right? the intent was. But, yeah, yeah she, definitely a tough call. She reeled back like she was about to attempt to throw that. Yeah. You're going with that same disc? Yep, Roadrunner. Wow. Just letting it flip, and it just oh. did not touch anything. All the way out the other <laughs> yeah. side. That's awesome. Yeah, I was stoked with that one. If you can find green grass with no trees... On this hole? You're doing something right. Yeah. All right, she played herself to this position. Yeah, this shot was oh incredible. My. It's she gave the herself, tree break. Yeah, gave herself a nice birdie look. All she has to do now is convert. Yeah, no ladies... I've birdied this hole, I believe, all week. I think Jess Jessica might have gotten last it yesterday. Round? Yeah. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, with that so crazy shot. One birdie the entire yeah. week thus far. By the looks of it, Kristen's going to have an attempt at the second. Yeah, and Kristen really just played this hole perfect. That second she, shot. Yeah, and each landing zone was exactly where she meant to put the disc. She knew what the bigger gaps were on the hole, and... She just did just that. It was very methodical. Was yeah. that a run from you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I shouldn't have, but it was. <laughs> you had a little backstop. That's a great double bogey yeah. putt from Lisa. Just get off that hole. It happens yeah, to the best of it's us. It's going to happen on that hole. Yeah. Shots like that, you just kind of have to take them as they go. I won't name the player, but somebody almost hit me throwing a backwards shot last year at Ledgestone. It happens to people, <laughs> professionals. And that's the birdie right there, the second of the tournament. Yeah, beautiful. Textbook. Yeah. Nice delivery from Jessica. Yeah, getting yeah, that was off a good putt from you, too. Thank you. And, yeah, getting off that hole is so crazy. It's, like, one of the hardest holes out there. And then up next is the shortest hole on the course. And Under 200 feet. Yeah, and it's just crazy. Stupid uphill. Straight up that thing. Not much change going on. couple ladies under par, though. few good rounds going. Yeah. 
And like we were talking about, hole seven, par three, 196 feet, and it's just straight uphill. Like you still have to throw your fast disc as hard as you can if you want to get up there. Yeah. And it's a really tight gap too, so yeah. And you know that you have to park it almost too because on your way up, you lose all your energy and you're huffing and puffing Straight by the up. time you have to putt. So the closer you are, the more assured the birdie is. Catch your breath while your card mates throw. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to be the first one up to putt. Two putts though. Both those ladies look like they got inside the circle. I think Kristen maybe missed her gap too, but getting away with it. Yeah, this this hole's so short, we should all be getting putts. I said fast disc, but what is this one here? That's a rock three. Yeah, I didn't quite get on it as much as I wanted to, but I hit the gap and left myself a putt. Yeah. The mid-range will stay in the air a lot better than the, the full speed driver will. Yeah. For somebody spinning the frisbee like yourself, I don't I don't mind that play at all. Yeah, I really like it. I it just feels like a more controlled shot for me. Mm hmm There is a gap to hit. Yeah. And a forty five degree angle to throw up. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the name of the game on Ooh. courses like this. It's just throwing the disc that you know you're gonna hit the gap with. Yep. We talked like, about it round one, forward mm -hmm. progress. Yeah. So important here. Mm. Yeah. Not that far from going in, just a little low right. Yeah, I wasn't ready and I rushed myself. Big tisk tisk on that one, but it happens. Oh my goodness, that's yeah. a beautiful putt from Great Jessica. Putt. Uphill, side hill, tall basket, roll away potential. 100%. Right in the heart. Mm. Dead center, no problem. That's the best putt she's hit all day. That one looked good. Well, I yeah. guess that birdie putt last hole was really well. Yeah, but this one was too. a little longer, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it's so funny. I think we're not used to seeing Kristen miss, like, any putts ever. And so when you do, you're like, what? Yeah. What happened there? She's just, she's showed us such a high level of play that it's almost what we expect. Yeah. Crazy enough. Yeah. But I'm sure that's what she wants. Yeah. It's, it's what she wants of herself. Yes. You know that she's only doing it for her yes. if she's doing it that good. Yeah, exactly. And we're at hole eight, par five. This is definitely one of the trickier holes on the course. Definitely forehand friendly um, for righties. Um, yeah, it's it's tough everything. Tough drive, tough upshot, and an even tougher green that's super guarded and sloped. Very guarded. Yeah, there's like a little wall of seven trees with four feet gaps in between them. Yeah. Maybe three. Yeah, and you want to miss all mm -hmm. of them. <laughs> I like the forehand here. Plays nicely into the slope, like yeah. you said. Oh, if it beats that one, it's really good. Yeah, you know, I don't think Kristen has had a, I, I want to say good drive. I'm, they've all been good enough, um, but not anywhere that she's planned to go yet on this hole, mm. and she's managed to come out clean, so I think that's really impressive. Yeah. Boom. Did it get past that tree? Uh, it went a little to the side of it, which okay. was nice, yeah. Good. Yeah, and if you're going for this Ooh. middle ri route right here, you don't want to throw anything too stable because if it hyzers out on this hill, it's just... It just falls later. for days yeah. and skips. Everything is wet and... If it's under the trees, there's skip liabilities out yes. in the open. That grass is lush. Yeah, and this shot was incredible by Jess. I think it caught an edge, and it rolled her all the way down to that no, left side. Yeah. yeah, you can see the spotter chasing yeah. it right there. That's unfortunate. She's had a couple of them already this round. Oh, really? 
Yeah, and this was a great shot. Unfortunately, you know, didn't miss that last tree, but still in great position. That is perfect position. Look at you busting out the forehand. I was really proud of this one. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Sits right there. Baby forehand, but it worked. That's all you need. This shot's mm. incredible. She got it just high enough to play this little roll on the hill, and she has a nice open look at the basket. Fantastic. All right, from all the way down. Oh, gosh. That was early. Please, good luck. Okay. There is OB down the hill, but she seems to have hit and dropped. Kristen going around the left side of those trees. Yeah, went a little long, but putt's looking good. I'm sure she's got that. Yeah, about 28 feet. You're going around the right side of these trees. Yes. That needs to flex back. Mm. Or so that's how it got there. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting it to be on that very far right side. Yeah. Because that's, you know, where I put it. Um, you couldn't see that kick? No. I just got to sit. Ooh, and it did, right in the chips. Yeah, Lisa's in a great position for the birdie look. Yeah, she's played this whole great. Mm -hmm. Little Sonic Anheuser bid from Jessica. Strong with it. Yeah. It was a bit downhill. Yeah, she wanted that one. Kristen for the birdie. Another one. Mm. It, yeah, those uphill, I think mm -hmm. I think these hills are so severe and we're not really that used to them that yes. it just kind of messes with you a little bit. It does. It might Your look balance like a, is yeah, a bit different. The putt might look in the entire way and then last second, boom, just a little too low. Great putt from you. Thank you. Strong. Yeah, that was a good save from Jess. She found some trouble on this hole, with, yeah. but managed to... Yeah, unfortunate with the roll. And Lisa with the birdie. That's a nice birdie. Yeah. Get back into those under par strokes and feeling it. For sure. Got to have that goldfish memory out here. Exactly. Especially in the woods. Exactly. Hole nine, par three. This is one of the hardest par threes on the course. Um, it's super downhill and it's guarded by a lot of trees that are hanging low. So a really low power forehand is the play. And if you don't have that. Um, you go roller? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I really like this play because it takes everything I just talked oh, about. Oh, no. That was going to be... Man, it was flipping up. You could already tell. That yeah. first hit, you can tell a lot about a roller. Yeah, it was going to be really nice. Um, but again, all you really want on this hole, if you can't reach it with a forehand, is just to get down there. The yep. upshot's nothing crazy. There's some OB with that road, but it's really just a little chip-up hyzer or a forehand after yep. hitting any of the trees early. Lisa nearly getting that forehand flex over the top. Perfect. But yeah, but look at this, though. Whoa. It's just going to turf, though, right? Nope. No. Park City. That was a 100-foot skip. That was the best shot of the weekend, in my opinion. Oh, my The gosh. only birdie on FPO, of course, by Kristen. Not really surprising. No. That laser line, though. It was beautiful. Love to see it. Beautiful. Jessica getting pretty much all the way down there. Should be easy up and down for her. You got this thing left. Okay. It was kind of a misfire, but... But you can't go long. No. There's OB long in the circle. You give that thing any air, it flexes back, it's gone. Yeah, I'm definitely glad it stopped where it did. Chill. Yeah, Lisa keeps getting these weird rolls. I think it's because she's throwing some higher, higher speed, speed discs. Yeah. You're exactly right. Really nice upshot from Jess. That is super touchy. 
good reaction off the wood. I mean, stone, it's brown. <laughs> it's a brown substance. Get it. Mm. Ooh, so close. Good bid from down there. That 40 footer plays like 50. Yeah, minimum. It's, it's a long putt from down there. Oh, yeah. On the stripe. <laughs> that was a confident looking putt. Thank you. I was really scared. <laughs> that drop off's not, not nice. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah, a lot of pressure on that putt. Yeah. Because everyone knows no one was going to birdie this hole. Stepping up for the entire field. Yeah. Yeah, she's got us. Nice par drop in from Jessica, and that rounds out our front nine. Here from the Butler County Disc Golf Classic, Kristen Tatar still up top, Jessica in second, and you've now overtaken Lisa. We didn't mention it, but you're now in third podium position. Yeah, Lisa, Jess, and I were kind of just, you know, getting Jockeying. some... Jockeying. Yeah, and it was really fun. I don't think any of us um, were, like, super trying to beat each other but i think we all knew we were really close and so it mm -hmm. made it very tense and kind of fun honestly the only under par rounds on the on the course at the moment cool slow-mo on our way out thank you guys for joining us for maria oliva i'm luke humphreys thank you for watching the disc golf network and we'll see you on that back nine